Yo, what's good, my wolf pack? Alpha of the pack right here. And today in this video, man, I'm gonna be doing a review of Eden Zero Chapter 121. Dar Darling little piece of junk. That's that's a title. <laughs> Darling little piece of junk. Dear God. <laughs> Uh, I probably said that wrong, <laughs> but uh, anyway, dog, this was this was a nice long chapter that I thoroughly enjoyed. I I very much enjoyed this chapter. Now, baby girl Rebecca, now addressing everybody, everybody and their moms was we're we're all worried we're, and we're all concerned about Rebecca's power talking about how it's going to take away tension well just like i said just like i called my man hero knows what he's doing he jumps straight into it so in this chapter um Rebecca she was in that same home home electronic shop and um Basically, you know, she she was just goofing around with Pino and Happy. You know, she found some new clothes. You know, got dressed. She decided to play a little game with Pino, right? Um, she asked Pino to write down a word, and she would try to guess what it was. Okay, the first time where she told Pino to dress on the word, Rebecca guessed that Pino wrote down apples, but Pino actually wrote down human. So. And, and this, took me, this took me by surprise. Rebecca activated her leaper by will and went back in time two minutes, right? So when she went back in time the first time, she um, she told Pino the word that she wrote down, which, which, is, which was human. And Pino asked her how did she know that. She proceeded to explain that she utilized her cat leaper. And so... She, uh, Rebecca then tried to do it again. She went back in time a second time, right? This time, we see, we find out that there is, a, there actually is a limit to what she can do. Firstly, she can only go back in time for like a minute or two, a couple of seconds. And if she tries to do it more than once, it causes her a great amount of pain. Like, when she went back the second time, she, she had got this in intense pain in her head. She got a real bad headache. And she, she was just shaking and sweating. It, it caused her a lot of pain. So, I, I like that Hero addressed that, especially with <laughs> with all of the concerns I heard about Rebecca's power last chapter. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad my man addressed that this chapter. Rebecca seemingly has a limit on how much time she can go back to when she and if she tries to do it more than once It causes her a lot of pain. So I, I'm glad hero put that cap there I'm glad he put that gap there because and she talked about how She doesn't know How to go back. She doesn't know how to go back in time like more than a few minutes like how When they fought Drake and Joe she went back in time a whole week Rebecca stated that she doesn't know how to go back in time that far. She can only go back a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes, right? So, I wonder that might, that limitation might stay. I can't say for sure it might, but if it's needed for the crew to go back, I'm sure it'll pop up again. But as of right now, Rebecca cannot control her power enough to go back a whole week. She can't go back days, just a few minutes, which I like. I'm glad that my man hero addressed that. See, I knew my boy went and let me down. See, I see you. Y'all just gotta have fate, all right? Y'all gotta have fate, all right? So, after Rebecca recovered, she, <laughs> it's funny, she tried to do it. She tried, she, um, so when she recovered, she tried to do the game with Pino again. She was like, okay, I want you to try to write down a word again. <laughs> so, just completely forgetting the fact that she was in pain, she still tried to play the game again. And also, she called this little um, time jump that she does, she calls it reverse, all right, which is, all right, I like the name of it. This little small, small short time jump, she'll call it reverse. So, that's good to know. We also, we we had a little bit of a, um, a Shiki X Samora moment. I'm sure all of you Shiki X Samora fans were just, just happy about that, right? 
We had a um, Shiki X Mora moment where um, Hamura, looking thick, <laughs> was was just resting in a lake, right? She was just floating in a lake, and um, Shiki was trying to tell her that she needs to hurry, that they need to hurry and go um, reconnect with the crew because they were still enemies looking around, and, and there were still enemies showing up, right? And Hamura was all like, yeah, yeah, you know, just in a minute, I'm, I'm chilling for a second, but then... They um started talking about mother. Um Humura um asked if if they will always be friends, if they will always be together. And Shiki said, Yeah, sure, why are you bringing this up? And she brought up the fact on if they meet mother, what would they do if only one of them could get a wish? And Shiki says Shiki says are you thinking that we have to do? We would have to do some sort of battle or yell to see who would, who would get the wish. Hamura was all like, "I wasn't thinking that," but as in implying that she found it to be interesting or something. And then Shiki says, "Well, if that does happen, if if there if only one of us can get a wish and we do have to fight each other, I wouldn't want the wish. You're all my crew, and you're all important to me." See, my man Shiki, my man Shiki, my boy, he's a real leader. That's, that's, that's why my, my boy, that's why he's my favorite character. Shiki, Shiki's a real one, dog. You know what I'm saying? Shiki, that's my boy right there. So, then after that, um, Homura says that she sensed um, like three people coming since like three enemies coming and she was all like hurry up and get dressed we gotta prepare to fight and she was all like yeah and we saw that um we saw that orc the first dude that Shiki took out we saw that orc alright so we saw that orc, the dude that Shiki took, that Shiki took down with his um his overdrive, right? He was calling another backup unit, like Beast Unit Six, Beast Squad Six. Or was it Beast Squad One? Okay, yeah. Orc was in Beast Squad Six. This this group they were they were calling were uh, Beast Squad One, right? So we got three new enemies that showed up, right? They don't. They don't. They didn't look too impressive. If I'm being honest with you, but of course, with every new enemy, they're, they're gonna have to give the crew a little bit of a struggle. Otherwise, they they won't be you know too interesting. You know what I'm saying? At the very least, I can say I'm interested in seeing what kind of ether gear they're gonna utilize. But other than that, they didn't look too impressive. You know what I'm saying? So after we were introduced to the three new goons, we then go back to um, Hermit and Wise's perspective. They they are currently they were currently on their way trying to reach the server that Ziggy placed that caused all of the robots on Forza to go berserk and all that. They were trying to reach the reach the server to take it out. And um Jen Clean and Laguna in Moscow, they were busy taking out taking out all of the uh aerial robots, trying to clear a way for Hermit and Wise to get to the server, right? And so once Hermit and Wise make it there. there. There was a cute, there was a cute little moment. There was there was a cute little moment between Wise and Hermit. <laughs> and um, what Wise asked Hermit if she was gonna be okay, even though the server affected affected robots. And Hermit, <laughs> for a small moment, pretended pretended to be like she was possessed, and she bit Wise on the shoulder. <laughs> And he screamed. <laughs> and when he looked at her, she was all like, I want, she was all like, I want your blood. <laughs> ah, it was, it was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh my God. I love Herman. I love, oh, it, it, it was cute. It was hilarious. That moment alone, just. I, I, at first, I shipped the Wise and Hamura. Now, now I'm leaning towards Wise and Hermit. 
<laughs> it was adorable. But anyway, my wife was all like, don't freak me out. Don't don't freak me out like that. And then, you know, Herman got a little bit serious and she says, she, she had some sort of shield up that blocked out the virus, right? But she says, if she does get infected with, with the virus, she told Wise to not hesitate to destroy her. She said, don't hesitate to destroy me if I do get infected. And Wise was all like, don't say things like that. I'll just remake you. <laughs> and um, Hermit made a, poked a little bit of fun at Wise, but saying that he wouldn't be able to do that. And so they continued their way through the little, the little server area, right? The little beacon area. And this threw me for a loop, dog. We saw, apparently, that this doctor dude, y'all know, so, back in a digital, in a digital art, when we found out about Hermes past and how, how she was tortured by scientists, right? Apparently, this doctor had some sort of connection to Ziggy because he came back. What was his name? D Dr. Mueller? He came back, right? And he was, he was like, he had his human face, but the rest of his body was robotic. And he was all like, oh, it's good to see you. He, he said this to Herman. He was all like, oh, it's good to see you, my my darling little piece of junk. I was all like, hey, bro, he's still alive? He's back? I thought he was in jail. Didn't he get arrested? <laughs> I was all like, yo. And poor, and poor Herman. Poor Herman. Poor Herman. She was terrified, dog. She had tears in her eyes. She was shaking. It, it, she, was, she was horrified, dog. And I was like, yo, what? What's with the twist? I wasn't expecting to see that dude back, dog. And then the fact that he knew, he knows Ziggy somehow. He was all like, oh, Ziggy told me you would be here. I was like, what? What? <laughs> the twist, dog. My boy, he never, my man Hiromashima never ceases to surprise me. I'm always getting shook. This was, bruh. This was a great chapter. I loved this chapter. I love this chapter. Funnily enough, I was under the impression we wouldn't get a chapter this week. I heard people say that we weren't going to get a chapter this week. So like, oh, okay. And then I saw that we had a chapter. So I was like, let me t let me check it out real quick. And this chapter, it did not disappoint, dog. I loved it through and through, dog. I loved this chapter. <sighs> Now I can't wait to chapter 122. <laughs> I can't wait to 122. Oh, man. That really... I'm sure... Now, now that Dr. Mueller's back, I'm sure Hermit's not going to be... I keep getting interrupted, y'all. I keep getting interrupted. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I was saying, now that we're face-to-face -face with Dr. Mueller... I'm sure Herman isn't going to be able to operate normally in front of him, you know, because she's clearly, like, she, she clearly got, like, PTSD. Similar to how when Rebecca was face-to-face -face with Drake and Joe again, how she was shaking and she couldn't move. I'm sure that's how Herman is going to be, and it's going to be up to Y to take down this old, creepy bastard. It's going to be up to Y to take him down, which... I'll be perfectly fine with, you know, give Y some more time. So maybe maybe he'll equip Arsenal to fight him. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe he'll hack into his body, you know, just or zap him in the face like he did that robot when he first got on to Florida. Just like short circuit him. You know what I'm saying? But um Yeah, man, that was basically um the end of the chapter with uh, the reveal of Dr. Mueller being back, right? So um yeah, man, that's basically it. I really enjoyed this chapter. Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this chapter. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait to the next one. And, and of course, you already know I got to give love to my girl, baby girl. I got to give love to baby girl Rebecca. She, she She's stepping up in the world, man. She's stepping up in the world. I won't hear no complaints about my girl. Rebecca, Rebecca, man, Rebecca, move it up, bruh. I can't wait to see. Bro, I can't wait to see how much more she develops, man. Rebecca's like, I'm at this point. I'm more interested in Rebecca than Shriki. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's it. Peace.